How can photocatalysts be used to reduce chromium-6 in drinking water? Chromium-6 is a toxic material that is sometimes found in drinking water. If its concentration is too high, it can harm people's health, even cause cancer. So, where there is contamination, we need effective ways to remove it from water. We usually absorb it onto the surface of special materials with large surface area. We can also convert it to much safer forms of chromium, like chromium-3. Chromium-3 is much less toxic than chromium-6. One way to do this is to use photoreduction, that is, using light energy to convert chromium-6 to safer chromium-3. Photoreduction of chromium-6 is a very commonly used method because it is fast and efficient. This is how it works. First of all, we need some sort of light, for example, UV light or visible light. Then, we need to add some amount of proper photocatalysts. The photocatalysts are all semiconductors. When the light of energy is large enough, it will be able to transfer its energy to the semiconductors, and the semiconductors will then act as a media to transfer the energy again to chromium-6 and reduce it to chromium-3. Nanotechnologies help to make the photocatalyst work more efficiently. It will create smaller particle size and large surface area. One representative photocatalyst is TiO2. Lots of efforts have been spent to make different shapes of TiO2, like TiO2 nanosheets, TiO2 nanovars, TiO2 nanotubes, and TiO2 holospheres. Those shapes will also be quite helpful in improving the photoreduction efficiency of TiO2. 